All right, we've got the head coach for Roseburg High School in Oregon, Coach Steve Lender. Coach Lender, uh, state champions, 2007, 2008, back-to-back. -back. 2009, uh, one of your best friends' teams uh, knocked you guys off. Talk about that a little bit, man. What's that like when you have uh, someone who you're real close to, an old college teammate, his team comes and knocks you off? What's it like? Well, he had, uh, he's been second quite a, a few times, so uh, actually it was a little bit... Uh, it was a weird deal. I had a senior son, so he was wrestling with a broken rib, and we had some other uh, kids injured that couldn't compete. We had a kid not make, make weight, so uh, that was uh, probably the hardest tournament I'd been to, and we still ended up second. Still had a chance to win, but we didn't quite do it. Newberg wrestled great, and so I've got one of my best friends beating me at the state tournament, his first state title. So. That was kind of cool, and one of our uh, Roseburg boys beat his son, who's real close to me and my family, uh, in a semifinal match, I believe. So that was a little awkward, also, and then having my uh, son trying to wrestle with a broken rib and all that stuff. So it was, uh, I guess, uh, it was interesting. I wouldn't say it was fun or enjoyable, but I felt good that he won. You know, uh, that his team won, and they wrestled great. So. They did what they needed to do and, and uh, got rewarded. He said it's your title to lose. You're the favorite next year. He said that. Wait. He said it's your title to lose. Is that the truth? It, it, uh, are you guys coming back? Are you going to be that much better than them? Oh yeah, I think so. But we were last year too, and it didn't work out. So I don't. I'm not sure I had ever lost a kid to a season-ending surgery, and I think we had five last year. Wow. Um, and they, three of them were state, returning state placers, and then we had a returning state champ that didn't make weight. So we had a lot of adversity, and, and Newberg took advantage of it, wrestled well, and won. So we'd like to, uh, I think we're going to have a very good team, and, and I like our chances. But kind of goes to show that you don't, uh, the favorite doesn't always win, and you still got to, everything's still got to line up for you. You got to have a little good fortune in there, and, and uh, you know, at least injury-wise, be able to have everybody on the mat and compete. Uh, you are coaching the Fargo team. You guys are going out with the juniors right now. How important to you is it to have your athletes out in Fargo competing? I, I think it's real important for our program. I think it's one of the things that has developed uh, Newberg in the past few years. It, and Crater, uh, when they were going through their run, they, had, they usually had the most kids on the juniors team and cadets for Oregon. Newberg's always had a lot of kids and... and uh, at Roseburg, when I moved there, I think we had one or two kids on the national team. Uh, this year, I think we have 12 or 13 that are wrestling for either cadet or junior. So I uh, put a lot of stock in that and uh, keeps them working out in the spring, keeps them working out in the summer, which most of them wouldn't do. So I, uh, I think it's real valuable. Okay, you guys go to the clash. Uh, I see your name. I see Roseburg in the top 40 prep teams year in and year out. Do you think traveling and going seeking out the best competition, going to the Midwest and maybe even going east, do you think that that's what keeps you guys in the the eyes of the of the uh, publications and keeps you in the top 40? Yeah, I think our I'm hoping so, and our success, uh, hopefully in Fargo, and we had an All American last year, and I think three or four guys that were right there, match from placing and from our own high school. So uh, the clash was. A great, great experience. We got beat plenty of times individually and as a team, and that's what I wanted to have happen. And I think if uh, some of our best kids, if we stay in Oregon, it's pretty hard for them to get beat. Um, and I, I kind of think it's good for them to face that level of competition and uh, get motivated maybe by a loss or, or, you know, subpar performance. And then to see the next level of wrestling too, because we got beat in a couple of duels and and it didn't happen here. We won everything here until the state tournament. So it was a good experience. So we're, we're going to go back. All and right. Hopefully don't lose this thing. Yeah, <laughs> you, said, you said you guys ended up in the, the, the C pool, was it? The third place pool, and then we beat the three teams there. So. Okay. You guys, uh, <clears throat> you and Coach Russo are alum here at Oregon State. You were teammates. Uh, you were a Dale Thomas guy. But there's some really funny stories. I'm sure you I have some. That's to... not something I claim on, <laughs> in the general public to be. A, but you're you're, you're alum. Yeah. You're Oregon yeah. State alum. How do you feel about the direction of the Beavers right now? I think Z? I think it's good, and I was real excited when he came here, and uh, 
when uh, Troy and the rest of the guys they brought, I, I, uh, I was real excited for it. And I think I think this is going to be a big year. The next couple of years, they've got some of their kids and some of their good recruits coming, and got a couple of Oregon kids back that'll help the team. And, and uh, I'm hoping that they can they can get it going, and because it would help all levels of wrestling in Oregon, I think. All right, coach, you got some driving to do. And uh, I'm going to let you get at it. you got to go down to Roseburg and then back up to Portland, right? Yeah. So that's, that's in the next two days. Got some, some driving to do. So I'll let you get after it. Hey, thank you for, uh, for the time. And uh, hopefully we can get some Dale, uh, Dale, Thomas, uh, oh. some Dale Thomas gold out of got you sometime. Got a pretty good uh, working glossary of that. Yeah, <laughs> we got some good archives. Hey, you've and got some the, written proof on them. You've got, the, you've got the logs, don't you? Oh, the, yeah. the written. i got to see those sometime. Thanks, yeah. Coach. All right, thank you.